G'day, Vinny Karana here. Pipistral virus, just to my right. Uh, getting ready for just uh, checking out its night VFR stuff on board. We'll show you. Okay, so now uh, the systems are off. Let's boot them up. So the PFD will come alive on the left. MFD will be alive on the right, they're dual computers. And back up AVMAP Ultra EFIS up the top. There we go. Okay, so uh, they're booted up and we can switch on a night light here which is, uh, of course, uh, red uh, LEDs, gentle on the pupillary reflex and the iris for night vision preservation for outside. There's also, um, if you needed it, a cockpit light, which is right here, behind me. If you can see it there, it's rather bright. And, um, too bright for night flight but um, certainly good if you're looking for something in the cabin. I also keep spare flashlights. There's one up here in a pouch and one mounted here that's waterproof. It can be easily dismounted. Bright LED and a strobe built into it. keep a spare reading light uh, that is just a little LED, simple thing that could be mounted on any of the uh, framework at the top and that can also be used as kind of a gentle uh, light if required, particularly for the analog instruments which are super reliable. Okay so let's now have a look at uh, the external features, we'll just uh, switch some of those on nav and landing light number one, landing light number two down here. We've had uh, approved by Pipistrel for addition. So the two landing lights are under there. They're super bright LEDs from Rigid Technologies USA. Port side uh, nav and strobe. Tail light. Starboard nav and strobe. You can see the way the light is angled. It's really visible from many different angles. I think they've done a great job with uh, their equipment and I've added some to it uh, such as the second landing light and the internal red LEDs. Okay so it's good night from me blue skies in the morning and I hope you enjoyed the video there'll be more interesting content coming up please subscribe take care